Hi, I'm Ray with Yoko CO. Many websites today are driven by an underlying technical component known as taxonomy. Now, if you studied biology in school, you're familiar with taxonomy from the whole genus, species, etc., things that I don't remember. So you might be wondering, well, what does this have to do with websites? Well, a taxonomy at its most basic level is a classification of your content and how you take a look and organize your content. Let's not make this about websites. Let's make this something we all understand. Music. So as you look at your record collection, if you're old enough to have vinyl or your MP3s and music there, it's organized by a certain order. Maybe it's genre, jazz, rock, classical, country, folk. That's a classification. That's a taxonomy. Another taxonomy might be by the composer, Beethoven, Miles Davis, Johnny Cash. These are two different taxonomy styles that you could organize and classify your content. The key is to take a look at the content in your website now and apply that same classification to it. For example, careers, technical information, financial information, or maybe who the audiences are. Maybe it's young professionals, experienced professionals, senior executives. But as you take a look at the content, go ahead and document that and put that down. Now, as you're building your taxonomy, you may get really excited and come up with a lot of categories. I've had clients come back with 100, 200 different topics that you could use. But the challenge with that is you want to make sure that it's usable and that it can be maintained. We find that a good, tight, broad category system works best. If you can get things down to 5, 10, maybe 15 topics, that makes things broad enough that you can have that like content and associate content with other things more readily. More importantly, it means that for your users that are classifying content, it is a faster and easier process to go through and do that. If they're looking at only 15 topics instead of 100. This makes it easier on your users that are adding content to the website to go ahead and classify it. It also has the added benefit that it helps users look at broader sections of content and discover things more readily. You will find that taxonomy and classifications will benefit your website in the long run as you're able to drive deeper engagement in your content and your thought leadership, which overall drives engagement in your site, keeps them on your site longer, and ultimately converts to leads and engaged users for your strategic objectives.